Melanie Laney here and welcome to part three of my new Cricut Design Space videos. They have improved performance in Cricut Design Space and changed a few things around. So I'm just showing you what's new and a few things you can do. Today I'm going to show you how to make a card and add text to it. We're going to slice a little, add a little text and we'll see what happens. If you missed my first two videos, click here. I think I'll put a link there for those videos. And in the description below, I'll also add a link to all of the videos. If you're watching the playlist, they'll just play one after the other. Okay, let's turn on the grid lines just by clicking this square here. Today we're going to be adding text, and I'm going to show you that. First, I want to make a card. I took these, both of these images here are from Cricut Craft Room Basics. It's free. Everything in there is free. Here is a score line and here's a cute little elephant with some sunglasses on. I'm going to make this an A2 size card. So I'm over here in the edit panel and you can pull it out if you want to. And so I'm going to make the width of this. I want the card to be a2 size. That's four and a quarter by five. So four and a quarter is eight and a half doubled because it's going to be open. So we're going to change that. We're going to unlock this so we can change these. And then this is going to be five and a half. So that's eight and a half by five and a half. And then when it's folded in half, it will be four and a quarter by five and a half. And this is the score line. We're going to have to attach the score line, but first we're going to do some other things and some slicing. And because I want to, I'm going to take this, we're going to make it a little smaller. This is going to be the front of the card. The little elephant's going to be on there. Make the little elephant a little smaller. Let's, I'm going to put this right at two inches. You can see right here, it's right at the two inch mark. So I'll know, I can count one, two, three, four and a quarter inches. That line is going to be right here where you see this little plus. So the score line is going to be there. I'm not going to place it there right now, although I could. Let's go ahead and place it there. Because I started on the two inch mark, this is position is going to be 6.25. And for the length of this, it needs to be bigger. So we're going to, I'm just going to click this to make it bigger. You have to click it. You can't just hold it down. Okay. And that's exactly 5.5. Now to get this to stay there, we have to attach it, but I'm going to be doing some slicing. So I can't slice it if something is attached. So we're just going to pretend and leave it there for now. And I want this to be right there on the inside. So we're going to have to mirror this for this way because this card, this is the outside of the card, not the inside. Because what you're looking at right now is actually the inside of the card. It's going to open up. This side's going to be over here. So we're kind of looking at it backwards. So this elephant will actually be the other way also on the outside of the card. So I'm going to take this and slice this through the card. I have them both selected. You can see here only two. Nothing's attached. I'm going to slice. Okay. So now we have this sliced. So now what I want to do to make sure I put my writing on the inside of the card exactly where it needs to be, I'm going to duplicate this. So I can go over here and hit duplicate or I could just copy and paste. I usually prefer duplicate because it's just one button. 
So now I want to line this card up exactly where the other one is. So one's at 2 inches and 49, and it's at 2.2. So let's put that to 2 so they're exactly the same. And I want to mirror it. So we're going to flip it over. So this is where we're going to put the writing on the inside of that card. So we're going to add some text. Say thank you. And I want to align this. And I'm going to make it smaller. But I want to make it writing style. Let's go here. All fonts that have a writing style. And then it's going to show me Hmm. I think that'll be okay. All these fonts have a writing style. I think I'll just use this one, but they're too far apart. I want these words closer, so we're going to do that. There. That's, that looks good. still fit in there. Okay, so let's take this one away because this was just a guide for us to know where to put this thank you. So I'm selecting the words and selecting the card and we're going to attach. So now they're attached. Okay, let's undo that. Make sure it's in the same spot. Let's send this to the back so we can see the score line. And you can make sure the score line's in the middle too by putting this little plus right on the score line. And we're going to select the score line, click to command, select the card, click attach. Every time you attach or weld, it brings everything to the top. So if you want to move it to the back again, then we have this little guy. He's mirrored, so these little handles have moved. So this is the inside, but this will actually be on the outside. And then when you close it, you can see through here to the thank you. And this is no longer needed. Now let's go ahead and add some more words. Let's do happy birthday. And we're going to align that. We're going to just do Cricut fonts. I'm going to bring this over here. Add grid lines. I want to do one with a shadow. Okay, let's do this, the Cricut Alphabet one. And we're going to add the shadow in there. And we're going to make the spacing closer together. I want to weld these so they... are closer together. But I want to isolate the letters. You can just ungroup or isolating will also keep the shadow with it. And let's zoom in so you can see better. Let's move this out of the way.
I'm going to make this bigger. And zoom out. Because those little circles are too big. Now I can see better. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So now something we have to do is ungroup. Okay, you get back over there. Okay. We're going to have to ungroup each letter at a time. I'm going to pull the shadow out. Or leave the shadow there and pull the letter out. Okay, I've ungrouped them all. Now I can just pull these out of the way. Now what we're going to do is put a box around all of these and weld them together. So now these will cut out as one piece. And let's move these to the back. And then you can place these on here. And for these that are touching, we can also weld these together too. Not all touching, but some of them are. Or if you want to cut it in vinyl, if we weld it, it will all cut out together also. Okay, let's grab the shadow layer. Let's find that. Grab that. Oops. that out of the way. So now we have this. Let's weld this together. And some of these that are touching, let's see right there, that will probably weld. Okay. So this way you just have less pieces to worry about. And that's how you can weld things. If you want the shadow piece to be more of a solid piece, you can add more to it. Let's go ahead and get some free images. Let's see how these go. Where's the one that brought me here? Okay, just bring these in just in case I need them. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Unlock it. Where is this? Here, let's duplicate this. Okay. I duplicate this. And duplicate again. I'm just covering up all these holes. There we go. 
I know, it looks funny. Let's see. Love. Okay. Bring this to the front. There. Now, if you wanted something more solid to put it on, you have more of a background. And then you can group it back together. Make it smaller if you want. You could also, let's ungroup this. Move this out of the way. Nope, need that back. Hold on. I'm going to put this heart right there. Let's bring it to the front. Let's rotate it a little. Smaller. Let's put it right there. I want to slice this through this. Bring it back to the front. There. Now we have a little heart. We could add more hearts if we want. We could put the hearts in between the letters if we want. There's so much we can do. And slicing and welding. All right, that's it for this video. Keep watching for the next video to see how to upload images. I wonder what's changed there with the new design space. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Here's a shout out to a few of my supporters on Patreon. Thanks, everyone. Bye. And November Moss, Kathy Messenger, Grace Kearns, Sheila Leary, Rhonda Hodges, Barbara Wharf, Deborah McGuire, Sandra Ramos, Wendy Zauzo, Donna Nora Stadler, and Evelyn Webb. Thank you, everyone. I love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.